Hey coaches, um, today we are continuing our series of just fun little tutorial videos to help you push ahead in your business and to give you just some tips and tricks on how to, to move forward and grow your business and everything like that. Um, today we are actually going to talk about um, organization, um, finding what works for you, and um, just a couple little other fun little things like that. Um, so obviously starting out as a coach, your main objective is to help yourself, but also sharing your story and inviting and uh, welcoming other people in that want to start their journey as well. Uh, the trick is, is how are you um, helping the people or how are you tracking them? Whether um, you're tracking your challengers or if you're growing your team, how are you um, uh, tracking your coaches and all of that fun stuff. Um, so the number one way, obviously, is inviting to monthly challenge groups. Every top coach, including myself, um, will tell you that challenge groups are your bread and butter. They are the monthly non-negotiable that's what's going to help you achieve success club. It's, one, it's what's going to help you stay accountable to your own health and fitness because, I mean, becoming a coach and growing a business, that can actually become slightly distracting to the whole reason why you fell in love with Beachbody in the first place. And that was because you love the programs, you love Shakeology and you love getting results yourself. And the best way that you can show others that what you're doing is working is by continuing to better your own health and fitness by doing the programs yourself and drinking Shakeology. And the best way to hold yourself accountable is by running your own challenge groups or teaming up and um, running things together um, and having fun that way. But making sure that you're running your challenge groups each month, whether you do it on a large scale or um, like my groups are typically uh, have five to 10 people in them. Uh, so I love doing the small, the small groups there. Um, but making sure that one, you for organization purposes, get yourself a planner, get yourself a desktop calendar and, um, and plan your month out ahead of time. Like here, I'll just show you mine really quick. But each month, I open up to my large calendar section there. Wow. And I mark through all of my personal things that I have going on, um, any classes I have going on, and then I plan out the month. I plan out when my challenge group is starting, uh, when I'm running um, glance in the coaching groups, um, if I need to plan out postings, um, as to when I need to post, I'll do that. So definitely start to figure out your own organizational things. Um, let's see, moving forward past that. So definitely get yourself a planner. Uh, I'll share my screen really quick cause I want to show you a super useful tool that I actually am just now starting to, to use myself. Um, because that's the other question I get asked a lot is how do you keep track of what you're doing every single day and making sure that you're getting everything done that you need to do. So if you log into your coach online office, um, again, as we've talked about, Beachbody provides a ton of great, wonderful trainings for us. Um, so you can come down to training, come down to the coach training here, come over to the learn how section. And in the how to earn section, there's a thing called the business activity tracker. <laughs> but if you click on that, you can uh, definitely print it out. But basically what this is, is exactly what it says. It's your business activity tracker. You would print one of these out at the beginning of every single week. So since today is Thursday, you should print one out today. Um, and then it literally walks you through what your power hour or your power 15 minutes divided out throughout the day should be. Um, are you getting in, like, are you being a proof of the product works? Are you drinking your psychology and are you getting your workout in? Are you doing your personal development or listening for at least 10 minutes a day um, to grow your own self and grow either your knowledge of the business or anything like that? Um, have you checked in your back office? That is a habit you need to develop where you're at least checking it at least once a day. So staying connected, are you checking it that in? Um, are you checking in with the team page, the national wake up call, what have you? Um, and then it gets into your actual like business things. Are you being present on social media each day? 
making at least three, or like we've talked about earlier this week, making three to four posts a day out one out of each of those different categories. So once you have those completed, or if you use Buffer or a third party posting program and you have them all scheduled for that day, put a check mark there that you know you got that done. Um, are you reaching out to new contacts, two to five people every day? Once you have that done, check mark. Are you inviting to your, um, your next challenge group? Um, two to five people every single day. Depending on your goals, the amount of people that you invite every day will vary. Um, and then are you inviting two to five people every day to come and learn about the business? You don't need to wait for a live glance group, but if you know there's one coming up, definitely up your inviting game then. And then are you following up with your current challengers, customers, or people that you've talked to in the past? Um, and then checking in with your existing customers, your um, like existing challenge groups, and are you plugging into your um, the team? So if like if we have a team call coming up, or if Beatnik has a call, are you plugging into those things and learning what you can? Don't get overwhelmed by all the stuff on this list because honestly, the thing that is amazing about this list is that it keeps you on track. It keeps you from just mindless scrolling on Facebook. So go through the list. If your first thing of the day is, okay, I want to plan out my social media posts, then dedicate, what, 15 to 20 minutes to that. Um, either pre-type them out or Facebook even has the schedule button that you can use or you can use something like Buffer or Hootsuite or something like that and plan out your post for the day already. Or at least in your head, just be like, okay, well, I'm not going to get my workout in until this evening. I'll do that one then. Plan them out in your head, write them in your planner, and check them off. And then you can check that box off. Um, same for the new contacts. If, if your goal is to invite or reach out and connect with two to five new people that day, then nothing else matters until you get that done and you put a check mark. Same with inviting to challenge groups, learning about the business, and follow-up. Just take one thing at a time. Do that one thing and then move on from there. Um, <clears throat> so definitely start to utilize this um, because if you are doing one of those things every single day, or not one of those things, if you were checking off everything in these boxes every single day, there's absolutely no reason why your business won't grow and uh, that you won't see results. Um, another thing that you can start doing is um, entering the digital world, which I'm just now doing it too because I keep uh, notebooks everywhere, like just filled out notebooks all over the place. <laughs> but um, I'm making a transition over to using Excel where like I'll have one tab that says um, customer contacts. So if I start talking to somebody new, their name will go up on the sheet, the date that I contacted them. And then, like, if we did have a good conversation, any um, reminders or anything in the third column. The same with existing customers or people that I've talked to about coaching. You'll just make a separate tab for each category of people and add them to that list. And that way, so, you know, whenever it's time to go follow up for people, you have an automatic list already there to follow up with people. Um, so, let's see. I had a few more Notes. See, that's what I mean about notebooks. <laughs> They're great, but then you have to search for them. Um, and then, oh, the one last tip and trick I had for you all today um, that I'm going to share my screen one more time is we'll actually come to Facebook. Because the other thing I get, and this would go back to our resource um, talk that we had the other day, but say that you're looking for something. Oh, this is my likes page. I need the team page. So we'll go back home. Um, so like say that you come to our team page and you want to look something up. Say that you want to learn something about Success Club or um, anything like that. Every group has this nifty little search this group bar right up here at the top. So let's just say Success Club for the moment. <clears throat> we'll click that. And every post that has the word success club in it will pop up and you can actually do your own research within the groups as well. Um, so this is a wonderful little tool to use there to help you stay organized and to look things up. Um, but other than that, like I said, um, 
definitely starting from day one, finding your own what works for you in order to stay on top of things. Make sure that you're doing what you need to do every single day to push your business forward and to just help your overall organization. So I hope these little tips and tricks were good for you. Um, post your takeaways below and if you have any questions. And I will talk to you all later.